reaction is Fox News legal analyst Bob Massey. Bob, this is a morning, Reuters Allie. investigation that finds that these robo signings are continuing. How can that be? Not surprised because there's no consequence so far. They should, these people as a whole, Ali, cannot be embarrassed. There are no consequences to them. Some attorney generals in this country have filed some lawsuits, but they continue to go on, illegally foreclose on people's homes, throw them out on the street like a dog, and they truly don't care. And when you talk to lenders, their sense of arrogance is amazing. It's like they get offended whenever I talk to them. I said, how could you say that? And I said, well, the facts speak for themselves, guys. You're throwing people out illegally. You're signing things under, under penalties of perjury that's illegal. And you're so damn arrogant that you really don't care what happens to the homeowners. And until the attorney generals in this country and the attorney general of the United States get serious with these lenders, letting them know that what they are doing is illegal, they're going to continue to do it because the truth is they don't care. Period. Well, let's hope that uh, because it's illegal, these attorneys general do crack down on them now that this investigation so. has revealed it. Let's get right to emails because obviously our viewers need your help. This comes from Mary from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Bob, I know that I have my obligation to pay my mortgage. However, my problem is not my mortgage, but I co-signed for my son. He is now married and unfortunately getting divorced. Now the house is upside down. What can I expect if it's foreclosed on? Well, unfortunately, many, many parents have helped their children get into homes over the last several years because of how expensive homes were in different parts of the country. The problem is that when you co-sign for any type of loan, whether it be for your friend or for your children, you are equally responsible. And if a foreclosure happens, Allie, on this home, then mom is going to have the same consequence on her credit. There's not much you could do other than try to either save the home, modify the loan, which is a joke, do a short sale that we've talked about many times to try to save a little bit of your credit. Otherwise, the consequence will be the same to you as it will be to your son. You're oh, joint boy. and severally liable on that note. It's very right, sad, but that's yeah. the way it is. No good deed goes unpunished. All right, next email is from Joe in Fort Worth, Texas. First, thanks, mm -hmm. Fox, for the Shattered Dreams segment. It's the perfect name for my situation. Bob, I have been given so many different opinions about filing bankruptcy. Everyone I listen to has different opinions. How do I know what I should do? There's too much of a hustle out there with a lot of commercials on television with lawyers advertising on, we could save your home from bankruptcy with a bankruptcy. We could do this. We could do that. First of all, it is absolutely true that under certain circumstances, bankruptcies absolutely play a very important role on trying to save your home. The best thing you could do is not, and this is not necessarily a commentary on lawyers that advertise on television because they're allowed to, and there's many competent lawyers that do, but you need to get a couple different opinions from competent bankruptcy lawyers as to what, where you fit in that grid. Should you file chapter seven? Should you file chapter 13? Don't listen to all these little lawyerettes, as I call, running all over the country that are non-lawyers, paralegals, and others sometimes that are giving bad legal advice on this. Go to a competent attorney in bankruptcy to get a competent answer as to if you fit that grid. Lawyerettes, you make them sound so cute. Um, Bob Massey, <laughs> thanks so much for your advice. Okay. I know the viewers appreciate it. You can log on to foxandfriends.com 